We thought it would be helpful today to dive into a few examples of how productions typically structure their workflows around Media Composer. Keep in mind, we're going to use a few vendor partner names here, but there's often substitute products that we can recommend depending upon your budget, performance, and feature needs. One of the workflow updates that has been very successful is folks that are moving away from tape style capture to fast serve capture directly to Nexus shared storage. You want to get the media into the post environment quicker. Then your mid-sized team edits using a line cut and ISOs or simply ISOs. Those are isolated cameras, by the way, to create the myriad of deliverables that these shows require. Many of these are studio capture along with field packages. FastServe has been a much more efficient method for multi-camera recording workflows and is replacing old XDCAM deck recordings in competition shows, game shows, soap operas, reality TV, and a whole bunch of other genres. Nexus allows multiple episodes and multiple editors to work efficiently and collaboratively with all the goodness of the Media Composer toolset. Then you kick it all off to Pro Tools for audio, and then you create those deliverables from your own group. Another workflow we see quite a bit is a small work group that's delivering single camera episodic television or feature films. Some of these use outside services for delivery of dailies, receiving Avid Media and Avid Bins or AAFs created for the editorial team on set or near set. Others take in camera cards themselves and utilizing tools like Telestream's card agent, or many times just the media composer systems themselves, create their own media that they use for the edit. The end result of this process is usually an AAF that will deliver out to the finishing team, and they use their systems to link up with OCM, original camera media, and in some cases returns from the VFX team to create a finished product. Over the past few years, the workflows have been able to be adapted into either remote control with tools like Jump or Teradici, or distributed with folks moving media around. There are converted warehouse spaces in LA that hold Nexus and stacks and stacks of computers running Avid, and they're all controlled remotely with folks working from anywhere. But these workflows above require one thing, having the equipment. Either it's gonna be your own or available rentals, but it's late August, and late August is a very late time to start on this process, as the busy season for post began a month ago. What do you do when you have a show but need your workflow not to require gear in your hand? It's a very tough spot to be in. But what if there was another way? This is exactly where Avid's Edit On Demand, we're going to use the term EOD from now on, comes into play. Most workflows tend to run on someone else's computers. It's how this business has worked for decades. When all those someone else's are telling you that they're sold out, it's time for a bigger someone else. Edit on Demand is Avid Nexus and Avid Media Composer running in the cloud on Microsoft Azure. An EOD solution is going to be cost effective as you only pay for what you use. So let's say you don't need 40 terabytes and 50 systems for that first month, but you will for the last two months you pay for what you need only when you need it. Storage, edit, workstation, and licenses. Now, keep in mind, this is all in the cloud. If you are in need to sync your EOD environment to an on-prem Avid Nexus environment, there is a path to do this with a product called Storage DNA Fabric. 